Hey everyone, it's Amira. Welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I created this cute product packaging design. And in this video, we're going to create this cute mock-up in just a few minutes. So, let's get into it. So, here's the packaging design that I created in Adobe Illustrator. I first exported it as a PNG file so that I can use it on Photoshop. So, here, as you can see, I opened the PNG in Photoshop. Next, I downloaded the mockup file that I'll be using. The mockup is basically a PSD file, as you can see over here. I downloaded it for free and you may find several sites providing such mockups that you can use. So I opened this file and you can see this watermark layer. I'm gonna delete that and the extra info on the left too. Alright, so now we're ready to start editing the mockup. So here's the thing. We're going to replace that red design with something else, right? So the layer we're going to adjust is the one that contains that red design. Usually the creators of those mockups would rename this layer as place your design here. But here you're going to find this layer called design and we're going to double click on it. Now a new tab appears. This tab contains the red label which we're going to replace with our new design. So whatever it is we're going to make in this tab will apply to the final mockup at last. So I'll create a new layer and then delete this red layer beneath. We're not going to use it, so I'll just delete it for now. Okay, so I opened the file that has my new design and we're going to select it by clicking on the layer itself. Next, I'll copy it using the shortcut Ctrl plus C, but you can also right click on the design then click copy. Now I'm switching back to the tab that has got the old red design which I deleted earlier and I'm going to paste my work here. I use the shortcut Ctrl plus V but you can just right click and select paste. So at this point some PSD files would require you to save the file so that the new design gets updated on the main mockup. But in this case it was automatically updated and don't ask me how. So now let's get back to the main tab and here you will find the design turned into a mockup. But we're not done here. Let's change the background color and to do so we're gonna scroll down till we find the background layer. In clicking the drop down arrow you will find the color layer beneath. So I'll double click on this yellow gradient and this tab will appear. By clicking on the gradient I get to adjust the two ends of the spectrum and change the entire hue. I'm going for purple and I'll make sure to keep the shades darker and less saturated so that the mockup on the top seems brighter and popping. So here we change the background color but that's not it. I don't like this whitewash and the clouds at the top of the mockup. It's truly taking away from the design. It's like showcasing your work under the burning sun. So let me actually show you how to get this right. So in the layers panel, you will find several layers for the highlights, shadows, and light. I'm gonna click on the light layer and using the eraser tool, we're going to erase this light effect from the parts that seem washed. So here I'm gonna click on the eraser tool, then I'll increase the size a bit. I'll keep the flow of the eraser tool low and the opacity as well, so that when I erase a parse, it wouldn't seem like a dark hole in the middle of light, and instead it would blend with its surroundings. My goal is to make this mockup seem realistic enough, like it shouldn't be glowing with lights and highlights losing the details in the middle. So yeah, this looks a lot better. And voila, here is our final mockup. Curious to know how I created this package design from scratch? Click on the ribbon above to watch my previous video where I show you my complete design process. If you find this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.